These dogs, all pets, are being trained to sniff out prostate cancer. See, see. Kiwi the Labrador searches samples of urine. Within seconds, she's found the cancer. Indication five. Correct. These dogs are being trained to detect the volatile signature for prostate cancer. So what they're using is their incredible sense of smell to analyse all of these chemicals that are coming off a urine sample and then they're looking for a pattern that's specific for prostate cancer. This three-year trial in Milton Keynes will use 3,000 samples from real patients. It aims to prove how accurately dogs can detect human cancer. To give you an idea how sensitive their noses are, these dogs can detect the equivalent of a drop of blood in two Olympic-sized swimming pools. And that's why they could make a huge difference, because prostate cancer diagnosis is notoriously difficult, involving a blood test, physical examination and a biopsy. And the dog is, 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 a, is a biosensor. He's actually a highly sophisticated biosensor. He's got 300 million sensory receptors in his nose. But he's got a fluffy coat and a waggy tail. That doesn't make the science behind what he's doing any less real. If we can prove the accuracy of these dogs and have a test that's 90% reliable, then that's the most reliable test currently available in, in, in prostate testing. Prostate cancer is the most common form of male cancer, affecting one in eight men. The current blood test fails to detect the cancer in 15% of men and gives a false positive in 76% of cases. Chris Eglinton's diagnosis took nearly four months before prostate cancer was confirmed. The long wait made his experience all the more difficult. I was worried. Um, you realise why you're being tested because you ask questions and as soon as that magic word or dreadful word cancer is mentioned, um, you really do feel terrible and I had to uh, go home from the examination and tell my wife and family what the problem was. Um, so it's quite frustrating. Chris welcomes the idea of diagnosis by dog, but at Prostate Cancer UK, they're concerned the science doesn't add up. I think that the researchers themselves have problems in identifying what's an aggressive and a non-aggressive cancer by using the dog. So we know the dogs are detecting something in the urine, but we don't know what it is, and, so, and we don't know whether it's aggressive or non-aggressive. So that, in a sense, doesn't take us any further forward. <laughs> but medical detection dogs say the trial will look at differentiating cancers. They hope to work with the NHS and are confident when it comes to prostate cancer detection, the future could well be four-legged. Laura Bundock, Sky News.